Hey guys, make sure to stand till the end. If you make one common mistake, it can cost you thousands of dollars in future repairs. Stay with us, we'll explain what it is. Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a GMC Sierra that generation here from year 2007 to year 2013. If you guys have one of those, if you need to find where your mega fuse is located, you may have up to two of two different locations. Stay with us. We'll explain where you can find them, where you can guys buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping. That way you do not waste money and time and why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. All that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Make sure to stay until the end. So before we start guys, let us tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart. We show you how to do engines, transmission, mechanical, bodywork, a little bit of everything guys. We have more than 13,000 free repair videos on our channels that can save you thousands of dollars guys in future repairs. We have anything from American to German vehicles, Asian, uh, anything guys. So now uh, if you need to find, let's say you're in the middle of nowhere, you need to find a video for a starter fuse or uh, you need to see where the starter relay is located all we have to do is just come find that on our channel it will take you about a minute or two to watch it you fix it you're back on the road guys so that's why we're making all these videos for your convenience so let's go ahead and start on it now so the mega fuse guys okay which fuse you need to check we'll demonstrate on that generation GMC Sierra right here now you guys uh, you practically have multiple fuse boxes but today we will need to just open the hood and if you look under the hood guys okay that's uh, your uh, electrical box here if you open it you have multiple fuses but none of those is a mega fuse okay none of them uh, so the other one is hidden it's under the hood but before we continue let's explain why it's always a good idea to test fuses and realize it is guys very important to test fuses and relays on those fuses you cannot clearly see if they're burnt or not especially you can see in the jk's fuses as well and if you guys assume okay you, let's say you remove a fuse you look at it and you assume guys that it's uh, actually a, a good fuse but it's actually a bad fuse sometimes you cannot clearly see that what can easily happen guys at that point uh, you can uh, uh, put the bad fuse in and you start replacing parts and tools that you don't need to so you lose your time you lose your money to fix a problem that doesn't exist when all we had to do is test the fuse and replace it we'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses how to check relays very easily as well guys so uh, check it out it will be in the description of the video below so the mega fuse can have two different locations guys when you open the hood you need to look at the firewall right here okay on the passenger side you may have a mega fuse there if you don't check out okay your car battery if you have a double cable like this one most likely the mega fuse is here and it will look like this one okay let me show you now uh, this is okay the mega fuse oh, that's the other angle right here you can see it may be on the firewall or it may be on the car battery and if it's on the car battery guys okay it will look like this one once you open the cover, that's your mega fuse right there, and that's the battery positive terminal. Now, the other one, if it's on the firewall, it may look like this one, guys. Uh, for any of you trying to figure this thing out. Hopefully the video was helpful. Thank you for watching. See you next time.